Dawn in the desert, a clear and chilly November morning. We are near the city of Buckeye, Arizona, where a caravan of cars is arriving, carrying volunteers. For the next several hours, they will comb this unforgiving landscape, looking for a young man who's been missing since June of 2021. His name, Daniel Robinson. And leading the search, not law enforcement, but Daniel's father, David. Uh, where is everybody located? For nine painful months, Robinson and his team of volunteers, people he now calls family, this is my family. <laughs> have been desperately trying to find any trace of his son. He's a very bright, intelligent geologist. Anything that Daniel wanted to do, he would do it. He's born without a right hand, but he uh, find ways to master anything that he wanted to do. You know, he's a geologist. Of course, uh, Arizona is the ideal place. In June 2021, Daniel had just begun a job doing field work at a desert well site. He'd always kept in close touch with his family back home in South Carolina. But around this time, Daniel suddenly stopped calling. I tried to call his phone constantly. He wasn't answering. In fact, the whole family tried calling Daniel. Nothing. His sister in Arizona checked his apartment. No one there. I was worried. I didn't want to panic because I didn't want my children to panic. So that's when I decided to call the Buckeye Police Department. The Buckeye PD is a small one with barely more than 100 officers. Nevertheless, they began investigating by first checking the area where Daniel was reportedly working. Nothing turned up. Two days later, David Robinson, desperate for answers, felt he had to take matters into his own hands. I just grabbed everything that I had threw it in my vehicle and just started driving. And I made it here. I came straight through, left South Carolina, came straight to Arizona. Some 45 hours later, David arrived in this daunting desert, exhausted, but in a panic. His son was out here somewhere, all alone, facing three-digit heat, rattlesnakes, and not a soul or building in sight. So on his own, David started searching and soon made his way to the well site where his son was last seen. This is where it all began. This is where the whole narrative started. My son drove off into the desert and vanished, maybe from here. David then met with a witness, a co-worker of his son's who said he saw Daniel at the well the day he disappeared. He did tell me that my son seemed like he was looking out into space somewhere, looking out into the desert terrain, kind of staring off. and. Uh, it was acting really quiet. And then he told me my son just kind of waved off to him, got in this vehicle, and drove off. Where he went and what exactly happened next, no one seems to know. Soon after that meeting, David began recruiting volunteers to help him search the sprawling Sonoran Desert. Every Saturday for the next few weeks, they scoured this barren, treacherous landscape. They have not found Daniel. Then in July 2021, a break, a big one. A local rancher found Daniel's Jeep rolled over in a remote ravine. When I first saw that crash site, I was really devastated. This place I had to go to and see for myself. The airbags had deployed. The sunroof looked as if it had been kicked open, perhaps used as an escape route. And this was odd. Outside the Jeep were what appeared to be Daniel's clothes and work boots, his wallet still in his blue jeans. Inside the vehicle was his college ID, laptop, keys, cell phone, and plenty of bottled water. To help make sense of this mystery, David hired private investigator Jeff McGrath, an expert at reconstructing accidents. He has a theory of what might have happened. There was nothing along this route that the vehicle took into that bottom ravine that matched the damage. It's telling me the vehicle was probably crashed somewhere else. Either moved here or it was continued to be driven, and this was its final stop. And whether somebody stole it in joyriding, whether Daniel was in it, but it tells me something happened somewhere else. The Jeep has since been moved to a secured location for further analysis, but plenty of evidence still remains of the crash. 
I don't believe it was enough to kill, no. The airbags had enough force to do some damage. They strike you in the face, and they come out with a lot of force. And it could cause a concussion, but there wasn't enough, there wasn't enough violence here in this crash to cause a lethal. That suggests Daniel survived and was perhaps disoriented and maybe wandered aimlessly into the desert. Could this be other than accidental? Could foul play be involved in Daniel's disappearance? It's something McGrath and David have not ruled out. It's something police have examined too. To this point, there is no evidence of that. None at all. Whatever happened back in June of 2021, has David Robinson now bracing for the worst? It's hard to say you're searching for your son walking around the desert with, with no clothing, no shoes. So I had to mentally put it in my head that I'm doing a recovery. So I need to go find every spot I can out here to rescue my son. He may be hurt, injured, somewhere stuck, whatever. I need to find my son. Yeah, I found something up here interesting. David is hoping to get more attention, help, and resources from the Buckeye PD, which says this is still an ongoing investigation, although so far not a criminal one. Okay, so we're still working this side. He's also tried to enlist okay. federal help. In the fall of 2021, the Buckeye PD briefed the FBI and asked for their assistance. The Bureau recently told us they're still assessing the case. So far, they have not gotten involved. So for now, David Robinson and his team of volunteers continue to search. I really have faith that somehow God can bless that he's alive somewhere, and I hope so. I am not stopping unless he's my son. He's my responsibility. He's a fighter. He never give up on anything. I definitely won't give up on him. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.